everyone, my name is Sophia and I have a riddle for you. Let's open that page to see what the riddle is. What is long and round and slides on the ground? What can be fat or thin and has dry scaly skin? Let's see. The next passage. What has a tongue that flicks and eyes can flick? For goodness sake, it's a snake! Well, let's read it. We got some jokes in here. Let's read the first joke. What did the hawk order at the ice cream shop? A milk snake. Cool, and let's read about it. A snake is a reptile. Lizards, turtles, and crocodiles are reptiles too. All reptiles have tough scales. A snake has stretchy skin between its scales. A reptile's body is always the same temperature as the air around it. To warm up, the snake lies in the sun. To cool down, a snake moves into the shade. All reptiles have bones inside their bodies. Some snakes have more than one. A thousand bones! It's the python skeleton here. Look at the python. Wow! It's so long, I, I estimate it. I estimate it must at least be 1,500 bones. At least. It must have at least that. Snakes all around. Snakes live in fields and forests. They even live in deserts and oceans, too. They even live in city parks. Are you crazy? Snakes can live almost anywhere. Some snakes live in cool places. In the winter, they hibernate. Most snakes hibernate alone. Some snakes hibernate in large, large groups. Here is a group of pythons. Nope, garter snakes hibernating in in southern Canada, look, are they creepy? Well, snakes and more snakes! Well, in warm places, mother snakes usually lay eggs. Then they slither away. They do not take care of the eggs. Most snakes lay 20 to 30 eggs. Large pythons may lay up to a hundred eggs. Wow. After a few weeks, at the eggs hatch, the young snakes look just like their parents. In cool places, snakes usually grow inside their mother's body. A mother snake lies in the sun to keep the little snakes warm. Those snakes, they're born alive. Well, what do you get when you cross a young bird with a puff adder? Let's see the answer. A chick who is good at math. Hmm. Most mother snakes give birth to between 5 and 20 little snakes. A puff adder could give birth to more than 150 snakes at once. Imagine what it will feel like to have all those tiny wigglers inside your body. Snake's body never stops growing. 
Sometimes if skin gets too tight, then the snake needs to molt. The snake rubs its head against a rock or a hard surface. Its skin splits open, then the snake crawls forward. The skin can peel off in one long piece. It's like taking off a sock of yours. On the move! Most animals have legs and feet, but not snake. Scooch to help a snake move forward. Python crawls forward in a straight line. Its belly muscles push its scutes against the ground. Scutes can't grip desert sand. A sidewind gnatter has to throw its body sideways to move forward. Ooh, here comes another joke. What did the pig viper say as it slithered around the rat snake? Excuse me. Excuse. It's an ex, like an ex, like an ex friend, ex friend, and excuse like a snake's feet. Me, ourselves, and the guard snake curves its body back and forth. Excuse push its against grass and rocks. Super snakes! Let's see what the heaviest snake is! And how, ma how much does it weigh? It's the green conda. This is the green conda. Look, doesn't look very green. It can weigh up to 550 pounds! as much as a lion. And a big sea snake? It's the, most, it's the most poisonous one. It lives in shallow areas of the Indian Ocean. It can stay underwater for up to five hours, more than sperm whales. Wow! Well, the fastest is a black mamba. A black mamba can travel up to 12 miles per hour. That's twice as fast as most people can run. Let's see who the smallest is. Look at the little snake compared to the queen. It's just a little longer. It's the Lesser Antillian Thread Snake. The Lesser Antillian Thread Snake was discovered in 2001. You know it? Hmm. It's small and brown and has little tiny scoops that you can see. Snake senses. Snakes use their senses to escape from danger. Senses also help snakes hunt for food. Snakes with round pupils hunt during the day. Snakes with long, thin pupils hunt at night. Some snakes smell with their noses, but all snakes smell with their tongue. Their tongues are split at the tip. This helps them know if they should go left or right. A snake's ears are deep inside its head. Sound travels through the snake's bone to its ear. Some snakes have heat pits. They can sense the body heat of other animals. Heat pits help snakes hunt at night. Nostril, heat pit, pupil. Play a game of finding snakes. You have 15 seconds to find each find snakes in each sec second. Here's the first picture. 15. 
14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. This is the snake right here. Do you see that little curve? That's the snake. Well, then moving on to the next picture. We got the screeny grass. It's really, really hard. Well, there's a snake at the very corner. Guess you didn't do it. If you did, great. It's moving on to the third picture. Look. Well, there's the snake. The next one. The fourth one. As you see here. Well, do the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, done. It's literally there. Literally there. Well, hiding helps snakes stay safe from predator. Hiding also helps snakes catch prey. Well, there's the snake. Congratulations. No, I do say no from that because those are the snakes in the pictures. Some snakes do not hide from predators. They have other ways of staying safe. Some snakes play dead when an enemy gets too close. If a snake went to school, what would be its favorite classmate? Let's see. It's history because they have the hiss. A spitting cobra sprays its predator's eyes with poisonous spit. A coral snake is full of poison. Its bright colors warn predators to stay away. Some snakes hiss at predators. Others rattle their tails, and the western hope no snake pushes air out of its back end. The farting sound travels up to six feet. That's taller and further, it's taller than a human, a full grown adult, mostly. But Robert Waddler is two meters. Almost three. Well, hmm. Poison. Snake snacks. Most snakes eat about 30 meals a year. Snakes catch prey with their sharp teeth and spray venom and paralyze their prey with their, with their fangs. Like these. These are the fangs. Look, look at the fangs. Many snakes have more than 200 teeth. If a snake loses a tooth, a new one quickly grows in. Cobras, vipers, and pit vipers have large teeth. They're called veins. I know. And well, poison flies through holes in a snake's fan. Some poisons stop prey from moving. Others poisons kill the prey. What kind of snake never skips dessert? A python. A python. It's a it's a python snake, you know? Most snakes catch small animals. They eat mice, frogs, fish, and birds. These snakes eat where their prey lives. Like this green tree snake. Like this picture. 
Well, they stretched their mouths wide open. Then they swallowed the animal head first. Pythons, boas, and red snakes can eat large animals. They coil their thick bodies around their prey. Then they freeze it to death. A large python can easily kill an antelope. Wow! Snake pets! Yay! Most snakes are not dangerous to humans. Snakes eat mice, rats, and insects that we do not want in our homes or eating our crops. Snakes are an important part of our world. Look at these pictures of snake pets. Like in the very big picture below, you just see a bunch of people. But there's a snake lying at the bottom. Some people like snakes so much that they keep them as pets. Do you know snakes are a little tickly? And they're cool and dry and stuff. There's nothing quite like a snake. So this is the end of this book. See you in the next episode and goodbye!